What is up guys? This is me, Vicar Gamer 80 Welcome back to the final trial of the Respawnables 5th Anniversary. So here I got the new weapon, which is really cool. But before I get to that, let's check out the final trial, prizes, tiers, whatever you call it. We got Dynamite, Golden Armor, Stun Grenade, Med Kit, Spotter, Mines, Stealth, Immunity Shield, Handgun, and Dual Handgun. The one part I'm a little confused is that handgun has two, uh, two percent accuracy, while the dual handgun has only one bar or one percent accuracy, which is weird. You have to win first in five matches. Doesn't have to be in a row. Just win first in five matches. As for this one, you have to get a hundred kills with this gun only. It was kind of hard and kind of easy. Some matches, people are using weak weapons, and some matches, people are using noob weapons, like Aristocrats, like really OP guns that is very unnecessary for this event. So yeah, it's a handgun, it's not bad. The reload animation is really cool. Let's throw his, like, glove in the air, which is pretty sick. Range, not bad. Damage is, as you can see, pretty bad. But the gun itself is really good. So all I can say is that it's not really a good, good weapon. It's just really good for collection and stuff. Damage is not that good. But again, you really gotta appreciate the gun itself and the reload animation. That is like really cool. You can obviously buff it with like the outlaw head, the BB jacket, so it, it could be upgradable. So let me just equip the equipment and I'll show you. So this is my gear, the decorated jacket, and the outlaw hat. Let me show you how OP it is. Kind of OP. A little OP. But yeah, if you just really want to get the weapon, just to have an OP weapon, it's not OP. It's only good to have a collection, or if you're going to party with your teammates, it's really fun to use. But just using it in general, it's not OP. But yeah, it really is weak. It doesn't suck, it, it's just really, really weak. It's similar to this gun right here. It's really similar to the dual airsoft SMG. They're both exactly the same, damage not good, range is not good, but you reload pretty fast. So there's like a little similarity there. The bundles that are available for purchase this week is the Advanced Soldier Equipment. So we got the Advanced Sight Helmet. Provides provides a 20% accuracy increase while moving with Assault Weapons. Extra 12% accuracy. Extra 12% health reduces the reload time of any Assault Weapon by 10. Advanced Legs provides 10% damage increase with Assault Weapons and 5% Agility. We got the RAKT Assault Rifle. We still got the Handgun Expert Pack. Still got the Monarchs. And that's pretty much it. So the weapon that's available for purchase. This final week is... We still got the Healer and we have the Zapper. So that's really cool. Not bad, not bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a like. Comment down below what you think about the video. And uh, subscribe for more Respawnables and other mobile gaming videos. Soon in the new event, I will make a video about these masteries. Which I'm still trying to like uncover on how to get them fast and stuff. So I'm still working on it. I'll make a video once I figure out a good way to get mass not masteries, but these things are called respondents respontees? Something like that. Yeah, respontees. Spawny tees, spontees, something like that. But yeah. Stay tuned for the next video, I guess. That's it for today. Peace.